Hi guys, it's me Lauren. I um, hope you're all okay. Um, this video is really, really, really random and I didn't know whether to do it or not. Well, it's not really random, but yeah. Um, it's just my basic morning routine. Um, I just really wanted to make a video, so I was scooping through other people's videos, seeing what I could do um, for inspiration, and I came across a couple of morning routine videos. This is purely going to be kind of, I'm not going into makeup, it's more skincare because um, I've done one before but it's definitely been updated um, for about a month um, it's totally different now so I'm just going to include bits and bobs I'm not going to include like brushing my teeth and stuff just because <laughs> I can't be asked running downstairs and getting my toothbrush and the mouthwash and everything but I just use bog standard toothpaste and mouthwash <laughs> to keep my breath nice and minty clean um, anyway I'm going to get straight into it. So when I first wake up in the morning, um, it does take me quite a while to wake up properly, but before I go downstairs to brush my teeth and do all those lovely things, um, the first thing I'll do upstairs um, is, what is it? I put some hand sanitizer on. This sounds really weird, but I'm obsessed with hand san sanitizer. I've got three um, little tubes of hand sanitizer on my desk in front of me, so I know to use it. Mm. Um, I do get kind of obsessed. My phone's just gonna. Um, yeah, I do get kind of obsessed with hand sanitizer. I just think when you're gonna be touching your face and stuff, your hands should be really clean, and this is the best and easiest way to do it. Even though I'll be washing my hands downstairs, I have got kind of OCD. Um, <laughs> with hand sanitizer, but my favourite ones to use are um, Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple, which lovely Meg got me. This smells divine, um, and I've nearly used all of this up now. It's Dr. Brona's Magic All in One Organic Hand Sanitising Spray in Lavender. This was out of a glossy box, and it's perfect because it's in the spray form. So you just spray it, you put it on your hands, and rub them together, and it's done. So I absolutely love hand sanitizer. So that's the first thing I do in the morning. Then I give my hair a quick brush and I spray on some heat defence just so I remember um, to put it on if I'm quite forgetful in the morning. I only do this if I'm not having a shower, obviously. Um, if I'm having a shower, I'll just do it when I've got wet hair. But if I've got, if I'm just going downstairs to wash my face and come back up, I'll put some heat protect on. And this is the one I'm using at the moment, Tony and Guy. Um, when I actually do go downstairs, um, the first thing I do is get my Starbucks mug um, or cup and fill it with water and ice. Um, I'm trying to drink just pure water at the moment. I do have the odd cup of coffee, but I'm trying to just drink water. Um, I'm on a big health kick this year, so that's what I'm trying to do. So that is the first thing I've been doing recently, is having some water. Um, and then I go into the bathroom. Um, and the first thing I do is cleanse my face. I've been using my Clarisonic Mirror, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I know I've not got any makeup on at the moment, <laughs> um, apart from lip, lip balm, but I have got the odd blemish, as you can see. But it did say on the Clarisonic website and on the reviews that I've seen of these that your skin can get quite spotty in the first week of using it. But I've noticed overall that my skin is radiant and all my acne scarring's disappearing on that side of my face due to this brilliant object so i'm so glad i've reached out and bought this well my mum bought it um it is quite a big investment because it's 99 pounds when i bought mine i think it's 100 and odd pounds now because that was on special offer but it's totally worth it um yeah i absolutely adore this so with this the cleansers that i'm using at the moment are um I'm trying to use up my, I'm going to slaughter this name, Boosh de Noel, Noel, um, cleanser by Lush. Um, it did come in a, like a long cylinder package, but um, I've put it all into this tub because I just found it easier to um, use. This is a brilliant cleanser. It's kind of hard to use with the Clarisonic, so sometimes I use this, but then most of the time I use the Visibly Clear by Neutrogena, the grapefruit one. Um, I'm not a big fan of this, I'm just going to tell you now. Um, I'm trying to use it all up because when I first got it, um, I'd heard so many things about it. And lots of people were like, oh it smells gorgeous and all this. And I smelt it in the shop and I was like, yeah it does. Um, so I bought it and I used it 
I think it was in September when I bought it and I just hated it. It made my skin so dry but um, I persevered and I'm just trying to get to the end of the bottle purely because I don't want to waste my money. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been using. Um, it's not really made any difference to my skin as in spots and stuff. Um, the one thing I do love using with my Clarisonic is the Triple Oxygen Instant Energising Mask by Bliss. Um, I don't tend... I do sometimes use this in the morning. If my skin's particularly um, dull, this is when I use this in the morning because um, it instantly makes your skin look really radiant. Um, so I've found that if I'm got like if I'm going anywhere in particular that I need to look a bit more alive um, like work or anything like that I shove this on and it makes my skin look 10 times better than it usually does um, so yeah I've been using that on the Clarisonic and I've also been using the Soap and Glory um, Scrub Your Nose in it as like an all over cleanser which I don't think you're meant to really do because it's a scrub but I find it's really good in the morning because it's quite fresh smelling um, if you've got a cut, you can shove it on and make a layer out of it and leave it on for like three minutes while you brush your teeth and then wash it off. Um, so I've been using that every so often and it's really good in conjunction with the Clarisonic, which I found. So I've been loving that. Then while I'm downstairs, after I brush my teeth and put my deodorant on and all those really boring things, I'll then apply a lip balm. This is really boring, but um, my lips get very dry very easily. So I keep this one in the bathroom. Um, it's just the Blistex Daily Lip Conditioner. It's got olive... No, what's it got in it? I think it's olive oil. I think it's olive oil. It's got olive oil in it. Um, or something like that. Something good. Moisturising for your lips. It smells like lemonade. It's quite nice. And it looks... It's just like a petroleum based lip product. And I find it's really, really nice for everyday use, as it suggests by Daily Lip Conditioner. It just keeps it on top of my lips, and then if I'm wearing lipstick as well, I find it's really handy to pop it on downstairs, because um, my lips will be nice and moisturised and ready for lipstick if I'm putting lipstick on. So that's what I do. I put that on after I brush my teeth. And then when I come back upstairs, um, I just put my moisturiser on. Um, I do usually use an eye cream. Um, and it's the Declio one, I've shown it before in videos but I can't find it, I must have put it somewhere, I can't find it but um, I've been loving the, well, I've only had it two days, no a day I've had it a day and I love it already but I do use my Declio one, you've seen that in loads of videos but um, I used this this morning and I really like it it's the um, Hydrating Day Cream, showed it in a video yesterday the botanics one it's just really light which i like obviously i can't tell you whether it'll be really um skin changing but i find it's quite a light consistency um which is good for me because i have quite oily skin um it's a weird color it's like a pink color i'm not i think that might be because of the hibiscus but um i've found it's done the job anyway this morning but i'll let you know in more in depth but like i said i do love my um hydra Florel. Is that what it's called? Oh, something calm. Hermione Calm by Declior. Um, the whole skin line by Declior is amazing. So I'd, if you can afford it, I'd go for that. But if you want a cheaper option, option I can't speak. Cheaper option than go for this. Um, but one thing that has changed my skin is my Clarisonic. So that's what I wanted to mention really. And that is basically it. Oh, and I have to have music on in the morning. So I'll just show you my playlist that I adore at the moment let me have a look what time are we on um, I love Shine Down so obviously that's going to be on there um, what did I purchase last the last song I purchased was Impossible by James Arthur um, Locked Out of Heaven by Bruno Mars is a brilliant song I'll put it on I just think it's a brilliant morning song, it totally wakes me up. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I will be doing a video straight after, but it won't be uploaded till tomorrow, which is a review of the hair extensions that I bought in the TK Maxx haul. Um, I've worn them a couple of times so I can review them for you now. So I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you're all okay. Bye.